还是妈妈。Thanks for watching this video about Camelot Village and Discovery Bay, St. Anne. I'm so excited that you're interested in this community. It's a great location and has a lot of opportunity for Airbnb and long-term rentals. So I'm offering a very exciting product specifically for the detached homes in Camelot Village for phase three, four, and five. So if you have a house that you're getting in any of those phases, I have put together an ebook on how to set up your Camelot Village home in one week. So if you've ever tried to get anything done in Jamaica, you know that is nearly impossible. But my husband and I were down in Jamaica about a month ago and did this. And I wanted to let you guys in on the insider secrets and how we went about getting a home set up very quickly. So this ebook is going to include to-do lists, daily to-do lists, what you need to do each day, and who you need to contact, how much things will cost, um, all the information you need to get your home set up. So this will include things like setting up your yard, getting a water tank, which is a big deal in Camelot Village because they're having some water issues over there. So getting that set up and installed, your garbage bin and clothesline, getting your AC and fans set up. And then I always like to put in curtains because it just gives the place a nice look um, if you're going to take photos. So all those things will be included as well as some other things that we learned along the way. So if you guys are interested in this, there's a link in the description. Um, go ahead, get your ebook. You can set up your planning from now. I'm going to have a schedule of what you need to do before you go to Jamaica and then each day in Jamaica, what you need to do to get your house set up in one week, weather permitting. I will say that because when I was down there, there was a lot of rain. So weather permitting, you can get your home set up in one week and we can help you do that with this ebook. So if you're interested, click the link in the description and I'll see you guys soon. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, today is actually our final day in Jamaica on this trip. So we're heading out to the airport in just a few hours. So we're here at the house in Camelot Village, phase three. Uh, just to check on some things, just kind of wrap up, make sure everything's locked up and secured before we go home. So just to give you guys an overview, um, Damien is inside testing the alarm, that's what you hear. So if somebody goes in and doesn't press the number, it will go off. Um, all right, so that's done. <laughs> that was something we were gonna test. Um, as you can see, we're working on some landscaping. We have our garbage bin in and installed. Um, in an earlier video, I showed you guys the driveway. So they've done some work here. They widened it up at the top a little for us uh, yesterday. So you can kind of see here the part that's kind of a different color here. They um, widened it out all the way up. And then Junior, the landscaper, put some plants here. And then also there was a part up top here on the driveway that was broken off so they've repaired that and then what we're doing here is with these bricks um, we have the mason coming in actually later today um, you can see this area is kind of dug out we're going to put a like cement pad here um, and enclose it with um, actually these bricks are going over here to make like a nice little flower bed so it'll be enclosed so it'll be kind of similar to this um, all the way around when it's done. So we're going to have one level here and then a little step up where this pipe comes. There's going to be a little step and then another step up onto the porch. So we decided to do this because if you didn't do that, uh, what would happen is we would plant grass in this area and then when you get out of your car you'll be constantly stepping in this area 
and the grass probably wouldn't grow well um, because of the foot traffic and then it would turn to dirt and mud and then you would track that into the house whenever you go in so that is something that uh, we're gonna do and uh, I think it'll make it much nicer um, getting in and out of the house so that and then like I said the landscaping and I'll give you guys a little panoramic view they are washing the street down there as you can see a lot of mud has collected down here um, because this hill is quite steep and goes up a long way and the water we've had a lot of rain the last week from the tropical storm Ian and it washes the dirt down and into this cul-de-sac here right near this house so yeah they're trying to clean out the street so I would think they would fix up the road up top first, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> so, um, all right, there's some work going on in the back. Let's check that out. They're still working on the back perimeter wall. So they're doing some framing back here. So yesterday they actually poured this piece of the wall. Morning. Good, good. How are you? Good. Good. Yeah? All right. All right. Yes, yes. It's looking good. All right. So yesterday they framed, they poured this piece of the wall. So they're taking off the framing and going to move it down to this piece and then pour this and then they'll let it set overnight. So that's kind of the process they in the morning they pull the frame from what they did yesterday and then move it down and pour more and let it set overnight so this should be poured probably later today and then this piece of the wall will be ready to go so we'll have a nice perimeter wall and then yesterday we finished up with the water tank it's here we had a platform made for it and we're actually going to test it. I think that's what Damien's inside doing now. So we'll go check in and see how that's going. So these are from the backyard. This is a view up the hill. And then you have the view down here. Those are the townhouses. I think that's phase two. And then the water, you can see the water in between. Mama!